morning. It is, what day does it say? Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Um, is it FA Cup day in the UK? Is it today or tomorrow? Today. Today, FA Cup day in the UK today. We have a day at sea today and we've just got back to our cabin after breakfast, a mooch, got some books from the library. And we have, now, I say peacock. Scott says turkey. Why would they make a turkey? They'd make a peacock as a tropical bird. That's what I say. Who do you think is right? Peacocks aren't tropical birds. <laughs> it's more like the feathers are more colourful and tropical than a turkey. <laughs> a white towel. <laughs> well, we don't towel. we don't have colourful towels. Um, actually, right now might be a good opportunity for me to do a little cabin tour because I haven't done one yet. So. Should we start at the front door? So, you come in the front door and you're met with a cupboard here, double wardrobes to the side here. So, let me take a step back. This cupboard here has a couple of shelves on it. And then this one's a blank one. And then we have four drawers, which Scott's put some clothes in. He's finally put clothes away. Then on the other side, we have another unit, which again is another cupboard, which he's put clothes in. And then we've got water glasses, water jug there. Those are pens I bought, I'll explain that in a second. And we have a fridge in here, which, ooh, as you can see, we've been stashing our chocolate. We've got that free bottle and we've got some other bits in there. Then, going to the bathroom so the pens were we bought this little magnetic notice board with us and we've been writing notes to the cabin stewards and they've been writing back as well there is a small step up into this bathroom and let me get in and close the door so there's storage space there in that is it that's a bin and then you have a shelf there and a shelf there. You have a really large mirror there, a shaving mirror, cups for toothpaste and all that kind of stuff there. Sink, hot and cold running water. Then this shower is actually massive because it goes back there as well. So let me, oh, the door's already open. Let me open it the other way. The door does open both ways. So there we go. So you have a shower there, you have a washing line in here, then you have a row with towels on. Now I bought this with me, which um, I just got on Shein for like two quid. And it's great because apart from that tiny little shelf there, there's nowhere to sort of like hang your toiletries in the shower, but there is a grab rail. There's also a foot rail as well. And the shower is lovely and powerful, as I say, really spacious, really lovely. And then behind the toilet, got a couple of shelves, which obviously we use in one. And then there's the loo. Um, you get a mat for when you get out of the shower. You get little flannels and hand towels as well. And then we're coming out of the door and we've got the wardrobes. So this is the long hanging side. So it's long hanging, just shoes down there. There's extra blankets up there. And then this one is a half wardrobe. And then it's got drawers, which I've got my stuff in. Life jackets up there. Then this one is shelves, life jacket shelves, safe and drawers there because we're in a junior suite oh let me close that door because we're in a junior suite um, we do get bathrobes and slippers as well so these are actually lovely now I'm a plus size girl this goes round me and does up without gaping so nice and big right so the main bit of the cabin Let's look at the bed first of all. So we have this giant mirror here. 
Now you can have this bed together because it's two singles popped together or you can have them as a twin each side. You have a bedside table with a lamp that has USB charging and two drawers each. There's also light switches behind my side and the phone as well. Then we have the vanity which is quite huge as you can see. Again massive mirror and let me just the lights are pretty bright around the vanity so that's good there are three drawers this side coffee maker kettle with tea coffee and everything chair bin three more drawers which is where I'm keeping all my beauty bits and stuff and then we have a sofa that's also a pull-out bed we haven't obviously tried it as a pull-out bed that's the slippers there by the way um, yeah so that's a sofa bed as well artwork above it all this stuff hanging is because I bought the metal magnetic hooks with me so I've like hung bags and hats up just to keep them where we knew they would be nice and tidy there's my mobility scooter in the corner couple of these are like two little block chairs basically and the TV then now this is the important thing this cabin is 12018 look at his majesty in his hammock he loves it so 12018 this is a junior suite with a large balcony so next door same size cabin much smaller balcony so let me show you out here so in the shade because we do have the shaded area here we have two chairs, two tables, like a large one and then a small one, two sunbeds and his majesty in the hammock. Someone kindly left a washing line behind who was in the cabin before us, which was very nice. But, sorry, I've been doing washing. As you can see, we have the small slant here and then it comes out. Now, I'm not going to obviously film my next or neighbour's balcony, but as you can see, there's this small and then just a tiny bit pops out, so there's this almost half the size. And then up there, got people sunbathing on the deck, and the twoies are in. And finish off with His Majesty relaxing in his hammock. That was a good chance to do um, the cabin tour because it isn't at sea day today. So it's not like I'm gonna be getting off and showing you around anywhere. Um, unfortunately, I was pretty poorly yesterday. I uh, found it really difficult to even get out of bed. And so we didn't get off the ship while we were in Corfu. Now, the day before I kind of pushed myself and used my scooter to go into Montenegro because my thoughts and feelings were there's a chance that I'd come back to Corfu even though the ship returns there but we'll be going straight to the airport it's unlikely that I'd get to Montenegro again so I pushed myself to go to Montenegro and then yesterday I just had to surrender and say nope I'm not going anywhere um, it was a mixture of my stomach chronic fatigue hormones the works yesterday felt very terrible but Scott looked after me, bless him. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do today. I've been down to the library. They do have a library here on the ship because I've finished my mum's Richard Osman book, so I can't leave it behind in the library because it's my mum's. Um, I've picked up two. I've picked up a Rebecca Chance book called Killer Diamonds and Walking on Sunshine by Giovanna Fletcher. Um, I've always wanted to read a Gia Giovanna Fletcher book, which I never have done, and Rebecca Chance is who I got a book out of the library when I was in Cape Verde and read her book and I really enjoyed it. So, I'm, I don't know, maybe I'll get through both this week. You never know. But after today, tomorrow, we're in Crete which I'm really looking forward to. I'm hoping that Scott might buy me like a nice little piece of Cretan jewellery or something tomorrow. <laughs> Say it loud enough while he's in his hammock. <laughs> um, then tomorrow, after Crete, 
tomorrow. The day after, we're in Santorini. The day after that, we are in Kusadisi, Turkey. And that's when we go to Ephesus. Then the day after that, we are in Athens, Piraeus for Athens, which is Scott's birthday. Then we are in Argostoli, and then finally back to Corfu. Did I call it Cyprus earlier? I meant Corfu, if I did. Brain's gone. Um, my nails are holding out well. Had them done just before I went away, and I actually splashed out to have them. Um, my toenails done too and um, yeah they're looking good got um the old sun rash on my toe i don't know if you i don't know if you can oh let it focus i don't know if you can see these marks on my forehead but um and i've got them on my arms as well whenever the i get any sun i come out in this weird lumpy rash it it doesn't hurt it just happens so yesterday last night while we were here I was laying in bed and I put a face mask on then I went and rinsed that off and did all the moisturizer and stuff like that I'm going to change my tape today because I've had it on for a few days and I'm going to put some clear stuff on because I'm going to go to the hot tub fancy the hot tub today a bit of nice relaxation I am um, filmed some of the sail away party last night so you would have seen that that was fun and um, I wore my light up trainers down there so loads of people were like oh my god look at your trainers look at your trainers that was quite fun god I've been prattling on um, it's my brother-in-law's 60th birthday today I know he's not going to see him this or anything but happy birthday to him I sent my sister a message to give to him yesterday because I didn't think we'd have any wi-fi today being at sea and yeah Scott's big birthday in a few days as well I'll end it there for now. If we're doing anything exciting today, I'll film it. See you later. He'll tell you in a minute. And um, we are at latitude for dinner. Of course I'm impressed. It's stunning. <laughs> now say it without the sarcasm. There wasn't sarcasm. Really? Mm. There you have it folks. This is the menu. has changed every time we've come here for dinner um, which is nice and today I'm gonna have the Caesar salad because Scott had that the other day and looked nice but then I'm gonna have the truffle macaroni cheese and what are you having babe? I am having grilled aubergine courgette pepper and artichoke salad yep. and sweet potato chicken nut wellington very nice there you have it. I forgot to 
to show the food when it came. That's what I have left of my truffle um, macaroni cheese. And that's what Scott has left. <laughs> Any regrets about choosing this holiday for our honeymoon? Favourite bit so far? <laughs> Worst bit so far? Not being in the hammock. <laughs> so right now is the worst bit? Because you're not in the hammock. When someone else is using the hammock. I used it once this afternoon for half an hour. Ha, 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 ha.